Live from downtown Bakersfield, 23 ABC News Midday starts now. And good morning. Thanks for tuning in to 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. I'm Mike Hart. We have breaking news at this hour. The county health department is now confirming a second death from the coronavirus here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper is standing by live with an update and a breakdown of the numbers. Tori. Yeah, Mike, it was exactly one week ago when I stood here in front of Kern County Public Health and 23 ABC announced to the community that the first Kern County resident died of the coronavirus. And here we are, Mike, exactly seven days later, and we are announcing this morning that the second Kern County resident has died of COVID-19. Now, since learning about this information just about an hour ago in our newsroom, we have reached out to public health officials to see if we could gain further information surrounding the patient's background in terms of where they lived, how old they were, whether they were hospitalized, isolated at home or whether this was travel related and we have not heard back as of yet but we do want to break down some of the numbers that we have been seeing here locally so far we have seen that 173 Kern County residents have tested positive for the coronavirus plus three non residents again two people have officially died of COVID-19 as of this morning 2419 residents have tested negative for the coronavirus one 1,646 tests are still pending and a total of 4,241 tests have been conducted. Now let's break down the ages of the tested, the people who have tested positive. Now so far, people who range from 0 to 17 years old, uh, two people have tested positive. Uh, 85 people who range from 18 to 49 years old have tested positive. Uh, 53 people who range from the age of 50 to 64 have tested positive and 30 three people who are 65 and older have tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, as I mentioned previously, we have reached out to the public health department to see if we could gain further information surrounding the patient's background, and we will continue to push for those updates throughout the day, and we will hopefully have more information surrounding who this patient is in our five o'clock newscast and on all of our social media platforms. So make sure you do keep an eye on your push alerts, of course, our Facebook page and our website, turn to 23.com. But for now, live in front of the Kern County Public Health Department, I'm Tori Cooper for 23 ABC News connecting you.